19,198 pupils were registered to write today's secondary entrance assessment exam. TTT News visited schools across the country to get a sense of how the children felt after writing the exam. Mahila Joseph Wharton has more. Pencils down must have been the sweetest words for the day for the 19,000-plus pupils who wrote the Secondary Entrance Assessment, SCA, exam on Thursday. Kaylee Ray Lashley from Newtown Girls RC School is confident that she and her schoolmates did their best at the exam. I think the English and the creative writing was really, well, simple. And I just really hope that everybody would be able to think the same. Yes, very. Some of her classmates expressed a feeling of relief. The exam was manageable. It was a bit hard. I think it was okay. I did my best, which is good enough for me. The maths was kind of challenging, but I find that it was okay. Everything else was simple, but the maths was a little challenging. Students of the Tranquility Government Primary School shared similar sentiments, many of them ready for a much-needed break. I feel excited because um, I was happy that I was able to finish the questions on the tests and understand it easy, you know? So how was the exam, Joshua? Easy. Okay, so are you feeling relieved? Yes. Well, Relief. Better because I could do whatever I feel to do. <laughs> One of the parents, Liana Callender, said it was a challenging year for the students. I don't even have words to express the emotion because um, this online thing was really terrible and then they didn't get much time to come in face to face, which I believe is the best way. But in all in all, the teacher worked hard and they put in their hundred. Over in South Trinidad, the feeling was the same. TTT met up with students of the San Fernando Girls Government School many of them happy just to run into the arms of their parents. The creative writing was easy um, and I finished it on time. Mm -hmm. The mathematics, it was hard. I feel great. Um, I feel happy that I was able to write the exam. Mathematics was the most challenging and creative writing was the most easiest. The Ministry of Education reported that the SEA exam was conducted in over 500 centres across Trinidad and Tobago without any disruptions. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News. And over in Tobago, it was celebration time after the 2022 SEA examination. Chrysia Douglas caught up with some students and their parents. Finally! A sigh of relief from students and parents of the Signal Hill Government Primary School after the three-hour-long SE examinations. I have mixed feelings right now. I'm anxious, I'm excited, but I, I trust God. While Mrs. Stoney Walcott said she plans to send Maya on a trip, Maya is looking forward to playing Roblox. And there was a common thread among her classmates when asked about their plans. What's your plan for the holidays? To relax. Relax. One father, Leon Tobias, also said he was glad it is over. His daughter, Zaya, is looking forward to spending time with her grandmother in Trinidad. Ah, I'm feeling a bit relieved that it's, it's over. She would have worked extremely hard for the past year and a half or so. And I'm feeling relieved. Another parent, Karika Douglas, like others, took her daughter Kanai Batiste to move it on. Yeah, because we need a brain cooler. We need something to kind of cool on from all the, the studying, the late night. Uh, I read a scripture before I went to the exam. The scripture is Psalms 121 verse 1 and 2 and I also prayed. And Bernadette Diaz Agard, whose son sat the exam at Golden Lane Government, sent a message to parents. Hey, moms, dads, love your children and don't be too stressful on them. This is over. And thank God for that. Carissa Douglas, 4 TTT News.